one of the biggest struggles that I used to have on my weight loss journey was falling off every freaking weekend. Like during the week, Monday through Friday, when I had a schedule, I was good when I knew exactly what I was going to eat. I had my meal prep meals. I did great. I did so good. I was so on point Monday through Friday. But come Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, all hell broke loose. And I would just go off the rails with my eating, binge eating, stress eating, bored eating, happy eating, all kinds of eating. Like it was just so food centered. And I was never, I was never consistent with my workouts. I would always tell myself Saturday, Sunday, okay, I'm going to go to the gym today, but I would never plan in the time. Like during the week, I had to plan in the time because I was busy, but Saturday, Sunday, I was free all day. So I was like, oh, I'll eventually get to the gym sometime. And then I would lay in bed or I would lay on the couch. I'd watch Netflix. I'd scroll my phone or I'd do a combination of the two. And I would just get lost in the scroll. I would get lost in shows. And the more I would lay down or sit on the couch, the less I wanted to get up. Like it was just, it was like the couch was sucking me in. It was like wrapping me around its arms. It's like, come here, girl. You're not going to leave. Like that's genuinely what it felt like. It was like I could not get out of the couch other than to go pee. And so the more I would lay there, the less I would want to do any of the other things that I was supposed to do, like clean my house and do my laundry and go to the freaking gym. And then nighttime would roll around. I'm like, oh, well, gym's off clothes, too late. I'll just try again tomorrow. And then Sunday, same, same thing would happen. The exact same thing would happen. The one thing that I started doing that was a complete, complete game changer was I started to schedule out my weekends just like I do my weekdays, just like I do my weekdays. And I schedule all my important tasks for the morning, for the morning. As soon as I get up and I don't set an alarm, I allow myself to sleep in. And, but as soon as I get up, I know exactly what I need to do. And the hardest part is getting up and getting yourself to do that first task. So I would recommend starting with something that is has a low barrier to entry that's not super difficult for you to do. I mean, maybe for you, it is wiping down the counters, putting away the dishes, going to the gym, going grocery shopping, whatever it doesn't feel like too difficult for you to get yourself to do. Start with that. Because once you do that first task, you will get momentum to do harder tasks. But when you have a really hard task, First up, I mean, you just don't even want to get out of bed. So start with something small that doesn't have a huge barrier to entry and then schedule your next task a little bit harder, et cetera, et cetera. But that's what I do now. And I do that the night before. So Friday night, I will schedule out my day for Saturday morning, go grocery shopping, meal prep, laundry, clean the kitchen, go to the gym. And here's the thing is that, you know, when you know, on a Saturday, you're, you're laying on the couch and you just have that dread feeling of knowing that you need to go to the gym, you're putting it off and it's like giving you low grade anxiety. When you put all your important tasks first thing in the morning and you get them all done, you don't have that low grade anxiety or that feeling of like, oh gosh, I have to do this. And you get it all out of the way in, in the morning. You feel productive. You feel so good about yourself. You feel so proud of yourself and then you have the whole evening to do whatever you want and the beauty is when you actually lay on the couch in the evening now you actually feel good about it you feel like you deserved it you you don't have that weird negative shameful I probably should be doing something feeling because you did it all and now you can lay on the couch fully relaxed knowing you have nothing else to do for the day and then part of my, I will say part of my Saturday morning routine with the task is making sure that I plan for Sunday morning as well. Because I know if I leave the Sunday to-do list, like making that to-do list for Saturday night, it's just not going to get done because so much can happen on a Saturday night and then you just forget to plan for Sunday. So I do make sure that in my Saturday list of things to do in the morning, I put plan for Sunday morning in that as well. So that 
alone. That alone of planning out my Saturdays, planning out my Sundays, and planning roughly what I'm going to be eating on those days. And I do give myself the flexibility of, hey, if I go out to eat, I don't have to follow this. But even just having a structure and a game plan is so helpful in preventing you from overly snacking or just you know grabbing random things that you know aren't conducive to your goals. But having that and planning out my weekends, it has changed my life. It has changed my weight loss journey. It has changed my mindset, my happiness, my productivity, my energy levels. It has changed everything. So if you're not already doing this right now, do it. It will change your life. And if part of you is wondering, oh, well, you know, my weekend's in a very, I don't know if I can follow it. Just write a tentative list. Just write a tentative list. And if things change, that's fine. But again, just having some semblance of structure that you can follow is so much better than having nothing planned at all. So I hope that you found this video insightful and useful. My name is Vivian, but you can call me Viv, and I am a nutrition and fitness coach, and I help women overcome yo-yo dieting once and for all and master, master their fat loss. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, then go ahead and check out my website, www.teamevolve.co. You can also follow me on Instagram at Vivian No and on TikTok at Vivian No with an underscore at the end. Now, if you want to see more weight loss tips from me and other habits that I've implemented that have helped me lose 30 pounds and keep it off, then go ahead and click this video right here. And otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today, for supporting this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.